Hi y'all, it's Crystal Porter here. This is your first time on my channel. Welcome. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Please share this video with everyone you know by clicking the share button. Please click the thumbs up button to like this video. Please click the bell button to receive notifications on my upcoming videos. Please um, comment any prayer, any prayers that you would like us to be praying for you about on this channel, or if you've had any prayers answered on this channel, or if you'd like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior on this channel, or if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior on this channel, or if the Holy Spirit is telling you anything that needs to be put on this channel, please comment those, and we'll do our next videos based on those comments. And thanks for watching today. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, we are currently at 44 subscribers, a thousand are required, and we are at 58 watch hours, and 4,000 are required to hashtag help where needed. That's where we can help you or someone that you know um, that is struggling financially well um, so that we, um, once we're able to get monetized. Thank you for supporting me on this channel and on this journey. And we'll go get ahead and get started into prayer. Let's go ahead and close our eyes and bow our heads. Come, Lord Jesus, just be our guest today. We just um, thank you for this day you've blessed us and given us today. Um, please just give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read and how to apply it today as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. Guard and protect us as we travel today, those around us, the animals as well. If there's anyone we need to pray for, speak encouraging words to, or listen to, show us that person. We just pray that you hedge and protect us and our families in our leaders, in our countries, and um, we pray that you heal our land, Lord. Um, we pray that you forgive us of our sins and the sins of the world. And we just uh, thank you for that, Lord. If there's anyone listening today that has not accepted you as their Lord and Savior and would like to do so today, we just pray John 3, 16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And we know that if that person accepted you as their Lord and Savior today, that they will go to heaven someday with the rest of the believers. Lord, we just um, thank you for that person right now. We just pray that um, you send down our guardian angels to protect us today and the, our, the Holy Spirit to guide us today. And um, we plead the blood of Jesus over us and our loved ones today to protect us. Pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see today, spiritual ears to hear the words you have to speak to us today, and a spiritual heart to be open and ready to receive today. We just thank you for everyone listening today, Lord. May you just bless them today, keep them safe, and just show them that you're with them. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you and pray. Amen. All right. So, if you want to go ahead, and we're going to be talking about what the Lord has to say about Genesis 4. So you can go ahead and get in your Bibles with me. And let's read together. Cain and Abel. And Adam knew Eve, his wife. And she conceived and bare Cain and said, I've gotten a man from the Lord. And she gave again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, 
He also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest in any finding him shall kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived, and bare Enoch, and he builded a city, and he called the name of the city after the name of his son. And unto Enoch was born Irid, and Irid begot Mehuel, and Mehuel begat Methuselah, and Methuselah begat Lamech. And Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other Zilha. And Ada bare Jabal. He was the father of such a dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handled the harp and organ. And Zilha, she also bare to Balakane, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubalakane was Nama. And Lamech said unto his wives, Ada and Zilla, hear my voice. Ye wives of Lamech, hearken unto my speech. For I have slain a man to my wounding, and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth. For God, said she, hath appointed me another instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And to Seth, to him also there was born a son. And he called his name Enos. Then began man to call upon the name of the Lord. And that was the end 
of Genesis 4. So if you have any Holy Spirit reports on this, something the Holy Spirit's telling you that needs to be said, go ahead and um, put that in the comments section. And until next time, bye!